Live. Hey, everybody. Hi, guys. Hi, Tony, Kettle Kitchen, <laughs> and Renee. Hi. <laughs> I'll, you know, I'll par for course. I'm going to drop it. <laughs> <laughs> Ginger's going to try not to break her iPad today. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we're doing, we're going to do our, I'm Michelle from Big Valley Living, and you are? I'm Ginger from Not For Nothing Homestead. <laughs> and we are doing uh, our first live Pampered Chef show here. It's a party. It's a party. And it's um, a party. <laughs> I got Ginger is on. the host. Let's go. And if, if you look behind Ginger, she is just like a Pampered Chef fan. So this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, <clears throat> hopefully we're going to have... Um, it looks like right now we're going to have all kinds of prize giveaways for two people. And that's going to be really cool for you guys. Yes. Um, <laughs> so what we're going to do is talk about what this, this is like a new format for us. And, um, Hey Rhonda, thanks for joining. And what we're going to do is, um, we're, we're live. Um, we're going to introduce who we are, what we like about Pampered Chef and then we're going to go on to a cooking demo, but instead of it being in Ginger's kitchen or my kitchen, it's going to be a quick video. And the recipe that we're making is kind of unique. Hi, Deborah. Hey, Susan. <laughs> and um, oh my gosh. Okay. Deborah hasn't been to a pampered chef party for a while. Oh my goodness. This will be fun. It'll be different. It is going to be fun. <laughs> And guys, I'm sorry, I can't see the chat. Uh, my phone decided that it didn't want to connect to the internet. So two minutes before we went live, Michelle had to send me the link to a different, to my iPad. So I can't see the chat. I'm so sorry, but hello, everybody. And I hope you have a great time. And this is a, a video, but it is you cooking, Michelle. It is. <laughs> yes, it is. And it yes. was a delightful dinner, I might add. Oh, um, I can't wait to try this recipe. Oh. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I, so, <laughs> JJ, I'm gonna I'm gonna mute myself for one second. Okay. All right. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Sorry, I'm doing this on my iPad back. <laughs> okay, so Ginger, <laughs> I'm like the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> So Ginger was asking about um, Pampered Chef in a chat a couple weeks ago. And then we started talking about it and we're like, well, too bad we can't do a party over at Ginger's place. Well, there is a way to do a party. We're using YouTube instead. <laughs> so I'm in California. Ginger is in Georgia. And mm -hmm. we've got people from all over the place in chat. So if you'd yep. like to put where you're at in the chat so that if you're new here um, and and we're not familiar with you, you could certainly put your name in there. Yes. Um, I've I've been selling Pampered Chef on and off for probably 20 years. I have my I have my director okay. here with me <laughs> a long time. <laughs> and um, <laughs> and I think Ginger, you sold it a long time ago, right? I did, I did, yes, and I am thoroughly enjoyed it. My kids were little and uh, uh, Joey would come home from his job and I would go out to my job, which would be to go to somebody's house and put on a party. Um, yeah. So yes, I I enjoyed it. <laughs> it is so much fun. Hey, Suburban Hillbillies yeah. in the house now too. So we're getting, yes. we're getting oh. some visitors. Thank you guys. Yes. Thank you for being here. So I want to thank Ginger for hosting the party and being, um, we're, we're just trying to figure out if this is something that we can do regularly. So yes. uh, I guess, I guess what we should do is um, maybe we'll go into the video and people can ask questions. We're trying to keep this at an hour just so that everybody knows so that we don't take a ton of your time. Think about it. You didn't even have to drive to the party. You just had to log in. <laughs> That's so, right. <laughs> yeah. The only bummer is that there are no snacks because I can't smash the food and send it to you. It wouldn't be good. Yeah, darn it. But you, <laughs> and, and there's no smell-o-vision. So you can't smell. No. no. But 
you'll probably uh, look at it and start drooling. So if Dark Lord Men is anywhere <laughs> near, he'll be throwing out the little drooling signs he always does. <laughs> Imagine the smell of bacon. And you're going to have a Most lamb. The smell of bacon. Yes, the smell of bacon. <laughs> And you have a link, right, to uh, at the bottom to my party so that they can just yes. go directly in order? Okay. And you know what? It, it's sitting here at the bottom of our page, I, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try. To, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, guys. I can't type and talk at the same time. So, Ginger, talk about your favorite yeah. Pampered Chef product. My favorite Pampered Chef product. I'm going to tell you I have quite a few little demos over here oh now i'm dropping them <laughs> i love these knives these coated knives they come with a sleeve on them they're absolutely beautiful they have the of course the pampered chef logo on them they are gorgeous this is a serrated tomato knife this is the best thing to cut a tomato with this thing is about three years old and I'm going to tell you, it cuts now just as good as it did the day I bought it. It oh really, they're awesome. I just used mine today for BLTs. Oh, did you? Great <laughs> minds. They, they, like. they are amazing. Yes, they are. <laughs> I also love these little glass. Um, they come in a set of, oh. but they have like a little white top that go on them and they're little clear containers. I use these a lot when I'm doing a recipe on YouTube. I'll put some ingredients in this one, some in this one, you know, so you have little matching bowls and they come with a regular white lid, but you can buy these little breathable lids that oh just slip God. on here um, from Pampered Chef also. I got these. I so like that. I hope they're still available. You're looking at me like, Oh, no. no, I've never seen them. It doesn't mean they're not available, but I've got a lovely, I have a lovely assistant here who's going to go take a look. Yeah, because I've got, I love, I love those one touch bowls. I really, really yeah. do. You're going to see them yes. featured in the next video or in the video coming up too. Oh, really? Oh, awesome. See, we both love the same yeah. things. <laughs> I, know. I love watching everybody's YouTube cooking shows too, because I'm always like, I'm always wanting to spot the Pampered Chef tool, right? Yes, yes. And of course, <laughs> you know everybody's favorite, the mix and chop. I know, I know, I love it. On YouTube just about has a mix and a Pampered Chef mix and chop. These things are, these are some of my favorite tools, not to mention my stock pot back here. I've oh, made yeah. the recipes in that monster stock pot. I love it. Um, I I love the pans. I I've earned a few pans from Pampered Chef that I didn't even have to pay for. Yeah, and they are yeah. some of my favorites. Yes, that's mm -hmm. the best when you can earn them. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I know. We've got JJ's favorite uh, chef's knife is one that I that I earned about four or six years ago. Yeah. So I I love what you did, and I want to give a little tip about that mix and chop. Does everybody know that you can use that to score the top of a pie crust? Oh, did not, but I can see where you're going with that. Makes for a pretty little design, just saying. Yes. <laughs> oh, that is, that would be awesome. Or you could mash your cookies down with it, make a pretty little design in a cookie. Oh, yeah. Peanut butter now cookies that, would be really cool. Now that you got me thinking in the, the dough mode, you know, what you could do with the dough. <laughs> that, exactly. I love these things. I love these things. There you oh, go. Good. Okay, so I think what we'll do, let's get the video going. No oh, food. If you're food, ready. Food. Are you ready? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. JJ's going now. Okay. This is going to be fun. Yes, and you guys can ask questions in the chat as it's going, and I can I can answer you. Or. Okay. Here we go. All right, there she is in her apron. No audio. There's no audio. Oh no. <laughs> Bear with us. <laughs> okay, one moment, please. <laughs> He's working on it. Okay, no problem. Well, we can talk until then. I see yeah, in the chat. Absolutely. 
Renee likes her rock crock and the slow cooker base. I do too. I do too. Wow. And now they're coming out with where they're electronic so that um, you can set it up and everything. And there's a new, Sorry, that's okay. There's a new digital. Yeah. That's what, that's yeah. what I was talking about. There's a new digital base coming out. Um, is it available right now or is yeah. that in March? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so it's available now. So if you go to the party to the party page, you can see that in there. Um, and there are little videos within that. Oh, and the mix and chop is out of stock. Well, we what? know it. We know what Tony was looking for. It's going to be a hot commodity. Oh man, JJ's going to try loading the video again. I'm try it just from there. Okay, he's going to try it okay. from there. So we can keep talking. Uh, Rhonda okay. Towery used cookies to make it look like a flower. I like it. Yes. Oh, Kelly yes. is telling us that she hears audio, JJ. Oh, they do? Did you hear the video, Kelly? Hey, Jamie. Thanks for coming in. Oh, and Renee uses the oh, cutting mats the every day. Ask oh. them if they can hear it. Okay, JJ's going to ask if you can hear this. We're going to... No, I don't hear it either. I hear it on the computer, but not here. Yeah. Oh, I could just walk you guys through it. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds good too. I mean, just when in doubt, that. just drop back and punt. Don't <laughs> watch my mouth, okay? Just don't watch my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, JJ, go ahead and start from the beginning. So I'm going to go through the ingredients. <laughs> the beauty of YouTube, we can adapt. Yeah. Them. Oh, I see that there's, well, that's part of the problem, honey, is that the, okay. Anyway, um, I'm going to make a cauliflower, a loaded cauliflower casserole. Mm. And we're starting with, um, we're going to start out by cooking 12 strips of bacon. I cut them in half. We have two pounds of cauliflower florets. They sell two pound bags at Costco if you have a Costco. So it's perfect. One brick of oh, Philadelphia nice. cream cheese, room temperature a half a cup of sour cream, one teaspoon of uh, garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of garlic salt, um, sorry, onion powder, <laughs> onion powder, I'll put the recipe <laughs> in the thing below, um, four cups of cheese, three of which were cheddar and about a cup to a cup and a half of Jack that I shredded finely. Please do mm. not use that cheese if you don't have to because it'll melt better if you use fresh cheese. But if that's yeah. all you got, go for it. Um, salt and pepper to taste. I'm ahead of myself. Wow, I remembered my <laughs> recipe by heart. You did. <laughs> and by the way, the onion, uh, the onion, the oven is preheating at this point to 400 degrees, okay? Then the last ingredient that we're going to need is about a cup of green onions. Um, that's two tiny bundles or one large bundle. Mm. And cut the bottoms off. Oh, here we go. Okay. Um, putting the bacon in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> mm, All right. yeah. Now that's using the bar pan. See how there's a lip on it? So you're not yeah. going to have bacon grease all over the kitchen. There's my, I'm steaming the uh, cauliflower. You have to have a tight fitting lid. Now I'm going to dice up the green onions. If you don't know how to steam on the stovetop, but you have a micro steamer from Pampered Chef, you could totally use mm -hmm. that. And oh, yeah. you want it to be fork tender, but I'm used to doing stove tops. So that's what I do. Yeah. So I'm going to cut up all these green onions and about three quarters of a cup are going to go into one of the one touch bowls. And then the tops of the greens, about a quarter cup will go into another one. Now we're fork tender, but I went a little overboard. Jojo the monkey boy. So I'm going to yeah. drain those <laughs> and put them in ice water to stop the cooking process immediately. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to cream together the cream cheese. This is fun that we can do this. Yes, I love it that you know it by heart. Go ahead, go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, whoa. And then we're going to pull the bacon out. Now, the bacon is very thick, and we like it crispy. So we did 400 for 22 minutes, and that is the result. So okay. now I take it off, and I'm going to put it into, or I'm going to lay it on some paper towels to drain and get the oil out. And um, 
Uh, hold on one second here. Oh, I got to watch. Okay. So I added the sour cream. Now I'm adding the one teaspoon of garlic powder and a half a teaspoon of onion powder, uh, fresh ground pepper and salt to taste. Mix it all together again. Use a fork. It's the best way. Then we're going to go ahead and see we have those reserved in that little cup. Mm -hmm. But taking the first one and we're going to mix everything together. Then I'm using my... Um, my scraper there, my largest scraper to just kind of keep everything in check. Yes. And I am adding all but about a cup and a half of cheese to this mixture. And it's going to look super pasty and you're going to be tempted to add more liquid like um, sour cream or something. Resist that temptation. Okay. Because you know, <laughs> all the flour is going to have water in it and it's mm -hmm. going to be putting it in there. Now, uh, as you can see, I have used just about each one of my cutting mats that comes yeah. in the Pampered Chef hostess, or not hostess, but um, consultant kit. I'm thinking we all probably have this chopper, right? Yeah. And it's yes. still around. Mm -hmm. You can still buy parts for it. Ten chops and you get perfectly crumbled bacon. Nice. Are you having fun with this? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, and then you're going to put a little bit off to the side for reserves. Okay. So I put like maybe a, a third of a cup to a quarter cup. I don't know. Whatever, whatever mood struck me at that moment. And come on, Michelle, catch up with me, would you? <laughs> and that's oh. for garnishing? Yes. Okay. Say that, say that again. That's for garnishing later? Yes, we're going to put it yeah. on top. Okay. Uh -huh. So here we're back to the bowl of uh, cream and cheese. And we're going to dump the bacon in. And J JJ got a bonus piece of bacon that I missed chopping. So he was happy. <laughs> and you see I steal a piece for myself. And we're going to mix that together. Uh, you can preheat your your pan. Now you can use a 9 by 13 baking dish. Or I earned this... Um, enameled baker it's a two quart baker from pampered chef and you guys we use that twice a week um i'll i'll tell you about what we what we do it's a cast iron um uh, i can't sorry lifetime say it again lifetime oh it has a lifetime warranty oh my god thank you heather it has a that's lifetime warranty you guys Okay, so you can see me mixing here, right? Mix gently and mix well, but do not mash it because you do want bites of cauliflower. Oof. Then you're going to bake it uncovered for 20 minutes in a 425 degree oven. I, I failed to mention that when I took my bacon out, I turned the oven up to 425 for this. Okay. So after 20 minutes, it's going to come out and it is going to be scrumptious. Oh, yes. Okay, so you can see how the cheese is bubbling on the inside, and that's mm -hmm. how we know it's done. And now I'm going to put the reserved cheese on top, and mm -hmm. it starts melting almost immediately. Wow. Um, you guys, oh, my gosh. Yeah, hungry. And then <laughs> I've got yes. if you want to try them. And then, um, and then I'm going to take the bacon next, put that on top, and we're going to put it back in the oven. Oh that All right. Good. <laughs> you guys and uh -oh. it just smells so good oh it's so, <laughs> it's so good, good. yeah and it's keto friendly because there's really nothing there's no there are no potatoes in there um yes um suburban hillbilly you saw my daisy bell i think and probably <laughs> leo too yes <laughs> Don, were so I get good. this is an actual so, party you get credit for it so yes yes please. this uh -huh. is a party <laughs> Yeah, thank you for asking. Uh, yes. Ginger will get credit for this party if you if you make purchases. So this is a real party. Mm -hmm. We're just doing it totally differently. <laughs> yes. Instead of you having to drive to my house from, I think she's in West Virginia. You don't even have to drive anywhere, Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> and Annette didn't have to get on an airplane if she comes in from yeah. Australia. She was a little exactly. nervous about making it on time. <laughs> About making that trip, huh? <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Well, can I say something about something I've seen that I bought a while back uh, before I knew you were a consultant, Michelle? And <laughs> I, they are fantastic. And summer is coming up with barbecuing. Um, I, do you know what these are called, Michelle? 
are they just called like meat shredders? They're quick shreds. Quick shreds. Okay. They are magnetic people. They stick together. When you have a big hunk of barbecue meat, I'm trying to get in front of the camera here and you want to shred it. Look at these guys. Oh, whoa. One is bigger than the other. So of course it'll go in between. You can hold it with the big one and shred it with the little one like this. And you can shred that big, huge barbecue and then slap them back together and they stay together. Oh, I think JJ needs some are amazing. I love these things. <laughs> oh, Ginger, that is so cool. I love See, them. this really is like being at a live party because this is what <laughs> we do. We ask people to get their things out and tell what they love about them. Yes, yes. <laughs> so I, somebody's I, asking if they have to use the cream cheese. Um, I guess you wouldn't, but I'm not sure what you would substitute with it. So... I'll have to I'll have to look that up. There's vegan cream cheese, um, and I'm not sure whipping cream would uh, oh. give you the same consistency, but maybe it would probably be too hard. But what one thing that I like to do is to take a full fat yogurt. If you can tolerate yogurt, take a full fat yogurt, get a fine mesh uh, strainer, line it with like a flour sack towel, not cheesecloth. You want something with a tighter weave. Put it over a deep bowl, dump it into your bowl, let it sit in the refrigerator at least overnight, if not up to 24 hours, wring it out, and then you'll have a more gut-friendly cream cheese. So mm -hmm. if you do okay. that, you can totally do it. But it needs to be thicker than sour cream. Yeah, something that holds up. Yeah, um, it, would, it would bubble over the top if you if you had it too thin. Yeah. So Renee says, just more sour cream, question mark. Rhonda says, no. Greek yogurt, maybe. And then Kettle Kitchen, Tony was saying sour cream or yogurt was his thought as well. So yeah. I would just, just add that yogurt. You add, add more cheese, maybe. Oh, that'd get, be some cheesy stuff, but sure. To yeah. fix, I mean, you did have, what, three cups of cheese in that recipe? <laughs> four cups in there, by golly. Why not? Oh, Okay. <laughs> well, one was on top. We won't count that one. <laughs> that well, I think, good. okay, so Renee said a good Greek yogurt is thick. You just want to make mm. sure oh, it's, there you it's go. very thick, okay? And that's, yeah. that's where maybe straining it for a little bit would be very beneficial. Yeah. Um, yeah, because you don't want it dripping all over your oven, quite frankly. No. Uh, that but hey. Like it does some, you know, it gets a little bit of a more of a liquidy, like you said, the cauliflower has some water in it consistency. Yeah. So anyways, okay. Okay. Yeah, Tony, who doesn't like more shredded cheese? Thank you. Yes. And maybe a little more Everybody. bacon. In there, huh? <laughs> you don't really taste the cream cheese though, Rita, or the sour cream. It all really becomes just a very cheesy flavor. So um, it, it's worth trying maybe. Um, and the yogurt you might taste because it would have that sour cream flavor. But if you try it without it, I would love for you to comment because I'd like to know if it works for those who don't like those ingredients. Yeah. Yeah. A cheesy, bacony, green onion deliciousness. I mean, I don't, I see why you get the re, the family request. Are you bringing the loaded cauliflower casserole? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, a requirement now. <laughs> it is. Out goes the green bean casserole. In comes the call yes. loaded call casserole. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Well, we're changing with the times. You know, every decade or so, we move to a new favorite recipe. So that's that's yes. It. Oh, that's hey, Renee. Renee, thanks. This is really good. And suburban hillbilly ricotta. Try ricotta oh. cheese. There you uh, go. Or a cream soup. A cream soup would you wouldn't want to add anything to it though to reconstitute. It's and I'd yeah. go only one can because that again could it could be melty. But yeah, I don't know why that wouldn't work. That would be really good. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. It wow. does. Frida says, thanks for the ideas, everyone. I know, and that's so awesome. We all kind of band together and what I like to call spitball around the room, and then we come up with some great ideas. <laughs> exactly. Hey, Ron. Hey, look at we've got a keto guy here with us. 
and here yes, we are. And she just a fantastic <laughs> keto recipe for this pampered chef party. Yes, it was it was a loaded cauliflower casserole, Ron, and it looked fabulous. <laughs> I guess we'll all have to have like some sort of jamboree where we can get together and cook for each other. <laughs> yes. Fun. You did a great job on that, Michelle. It looked fantastic. Thank you. And then, and then you got to reap the benefits and eat it. That's even better. I know. Right? And I still have leftovers. So I think I have a guest who might be trying it here pretty soon. <laughs> there you go. She's like, I want to see that. <laughs> Her stomach is seriously growling. So that's cool. <laughs> do you guys want to do a giveaway? You think it's time to do a quick giveaway? Yes. Oh, yes. I love to give stuff away. That's fun. Okay. Okay. So um, the first thing we're going to do is one of the things. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, mm. Strawberry cheesecake. Oh, yum. Oh, yes. Oh, my. We're going to have to see that. Okay. The first thing we're going to give away, we're giving away classic party gifts. Okay. So yes. the first thing we're going to give away is a citrus peeler. And this bad boy it. is so awesome, right? It's so handy. So what it, I need you to do. Oh, hold on. The the computer guy's getting it going. Okay. okay. You want to put in hashtag citrus one. Citrus one. Citrus one. And now you have about a minute to get that in there. And we're going to start kind of going over like um, gifts that you can earn with your orders and that type of thing this month. So JJ's going to put up a flyer. I don't have my timer on. So let me put my timer on real quick. Okay. <laughs> that would and be a good idea. Uppercase or lowercase doesn't matter, right, Michelle? Doesn't matter. Does it, JJ? I mean, it doesn't matter. Okay. okay. Um, yeah. Sounds good. That's awesome. Okay, so we have we have five entries so far. So could you put up flyer number one, honey? Maybe. JJ's JJ's like this is the first time he's done this, so we're this is a test okay. case. Everything. <laughs> okay, you got this, JJ. <laughs> <laughs> You know, um, everybody does a lot of weighing of their ingredients and their stuff. Oh, go ahead. It's up. Oh, he's just showing as a reminder that oh. if you you can choose a gift, that's going to be the next one. You can choose a gift with a purchase of um, $80 or more. And this month it is, he will show them in a minute, but it'll be a skinny scraper or a donut hole pan. But wait. Oh, well, well never mind. Hold on a second. <laughs> oh, and if you spend a hundred dollars, you get the skinny scraper and a donut hole pan. Make your I own saw donut that. hole pan. Yeah. That's awesome. Yep. And if you yeah. you're gonna see all this in a minute. Um, let's do the drawing. Let's do the drawing. Give it away. Come on now. <laughs> Hmm? All right. It's going to do a, you can watch this if you want to. It's going to do a manual drawing. That's awesome. This is going to be fun. Did you hit the draw button? And draw. Oh, draw, please. Sorry, that was big. <laughs> in there. Ready, ready, nice. ready, There's ready. And woo -woo, Cindy so Squirrel Off Grid. Okay. Good job. Good job. Would you Cindy. like for me to take notes on this also? Pardon? Would you like for me to take notes on the winners as well? I you can, but I think I'm getting it. Cindy, okay. I need you to send me your mailing address. And I'm gonna put the email right here. Big Valley Living at gmail.com. And you have until Monday night to send that to me, okay? So 48 hours, please. And I've got your name on it right here. 
Cindy Squirrel Off Grid. Winner, winner. <laughs> Waiting for your address. Nice. Congratulations. Very good. Yes, okay. congratulations, Cindy. That is exciting. That's awesome. <laughs> you're going to love that citrus peeler. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Mm. You're going to love it. I love it. I've got two in the drawer just in case, and I don't really know mm -hmm. why. But yeah. mostly I, I use like green one for my citrus and then I use another one. It can actually be kind of a cool cleaning tool in crevices if you need it. Yeah. So. <laughs> Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> yes. Oh, crab out of crab legs. Oh, crab feed. Look at her. Crab out of crab legs. That's not me. That's all the other. <laughs> That's you guys a want great idea because I love crab legs. Mm. Oh, yeah, right. And even those little yeah. things, those little forks you use, not always the best at getting in there, especially at the bottom no. part. Huh? It's the best yeah. part. Okay. That's um, awesome. I think I want to give away this. Um, this is a smoky applewood seasoning packet. And um, you can use it for poultry or any kind of meat, really. You use one to Ooh. two tablespoons for one pound of meat. Mm. And um, you can even use it on seafood. So this little baby could be yours what you oh, need to put in is awesome. hashtag smoky s-m-o-k-y -O <laughs> i love it hashtag smoky that is awesome and can you you can buy those as well yes michelle yes you can purchase these um heather these come in the the short ones. Jamie, the short there's ones. no E in it. You can just take the E out and redo your smoky. Jamie's country living. You've got an E in smoky. Oh, yeah. We want tree. you in there. M-O-K-Y. Okay. Don Ray B. Don Ray B. Got it. 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 Awesome. <clears throat> I think maybe putting up little things in the middle are, are throwing me off. So we're just going to stick with it the way it is. <laughs> and then we'll show flyers and talk about things between. How about that? Okay, that sounds fantastic. Yeah, <sighs> it looks like Jamie fixed it. So that's good. Yay. Okay, <laughs> Rita, take off the apple, please. You just want smoky. Hashtag smoky. Yeah. Yeah. I want everybody to have a chance to win. <laughs> and you you did say you can buy those packets like that. Absolutely, absolutely. No, 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 the packets, they, come in a jar. they come in a jar though, like a spice jar. Oh, okay. Oh, Pampered okay. Chef is okay. yeah, really, really you putting know. a lot of time and effort into some really good um spices and pre-mixes, meal starters in a packet, that type of thing. Yes. And JJ went ahead and put up the what you can earn. Ooh. So if you spend $80, you can get the skinny scraper, which is an $11 value. If you spend $100, you get that skinny scraper and the donut hole pan, which is another $29 value. And if you spend $150 yes. at Ginger's party today, um, this is for the month of February, <laughs> by the way, um, then you'll oh. get free shipping and those gifts along with what you get. So that could be up to like $70 okay. value. Those are gluten-free. Yes, oh, that's and awesome. These are gluten-free. Gluten-free, everybody. Oh, nice. These spices. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my gosh. I'm so glad some that. Are dairy -free. Some are dairy-free, too. But I don't, it's and some are dairy-free, but we don't have that all written down right here. Vegan. Not vegan -free, but vegan. <laughs> okay, Don't so. She thinks she'll run outside and check the chickens. Last time she ran outside and checked the chickens, it was during my 500 sub giveaway. And, and she, she won. Back in <laughs> and she won something. So her checking her chickens is her good go luck charm, so to speak. <laughs> and JJ, if you want to go ahead and hit that draw button. Yes. Nice. Here, I, can, I, I think I can do it. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say. Yeah. Um, go ahead. Uh, that is awesome. Yay! Awesome. Yay! Nice. Very good. Oh, wow. Yeah, and guys, you'll have to let us know how you enjoy these gifts of Pamper Chef stuff is amazing. Yeah. I just love it. I mean, I it love lasts it and lasts forever. Yeah, yeah. And, okay, so, um, so what I also want to talk about real quickly here. Um, are the benefits of hosting a party. 
So when, for instance, yeah. if you have guest sales over $200 for a party, you can get this month. So this would be for Ginger. You can get 6% mm -hmm. okay. off like of some stoneware or some kits. They'll be coming up in, uh, JJ will be putting some of those up here in a few minutes. But what okay. I want to do right now is, um, okay, we, we don't have a, we don't have any hashtags going right now. So that's perfect timing. JJ, could you okay. call up number three? He's going to put on the screen um, this month's special. And if anybody wants to do a party, we can do it this way. Um, I can record a meal that you want to see and do a quick video and we'll figure out the sound. <laughs> and um, oh, wow. and you can awesome. learn these things as well. So <laughs> did you? I have um, almost every suburban one of these. Michelle Suburban Hillbilly wants to pass her gift to Tony at Cattle oh, Kitchen. All right. Oh, that's so I'm awesome. Thank you. Yes, that's Tony. so sweet. Tony, please so send me your sweet. mailing address. <laughs> Big Valley Living at gmail.com. That's very sweet of you. Thank you. Yes, that is very oh, nice. Oh, I oh, we have a we have a challenge here. <laughs> oh, somebody threw down the gauntlet. <laughs> Look at this. Tony, do you see that? You have to tag, you have to make a video using it and tag Big Valley Living and Not For Nothing Homestead. Yes. See, that's a requirement. Oh, oh I'm this sure he's out. Oh, excited. look at him. All caps. Excited. All caps. He said accepted. He oh, never I love turns it. down a challenge. That's awesome. Well, I think this <laughs> is you, great. Thank you, Joey. Joey said, ladies, y'all are doing a great job. Oh, thank you, Joey. <laughs> I know. He's our biggest um, cheerleader. <laughs> Kettle Kitchen, I think he knows. Yeah, you have my email all right, right? <laughs> Stinker. He's got a little, got a little bell. Okay. Um, so, I, I love the uh, fly. Isn't that cool? And then another one that hosts can earn this month, if you want to do the next one, JJ. There are so many great deals, you guys. And Beautiful. so for every so many steps, and I don't have a flyer for that one, for every so many steps, you can earn up to five gifts that are 60% wow. off. Five. Goodness gracious. Yes. Oh, man. That's awesome. Yeah. So um, like if her sales were 1100 or more, that's where you get five. And then look at this. Look at oh. that. That's that is awesome. an air fryer set. That's and beautiful. it's formally almost it's three hundred ninety dollars. But as a host, if you had if you had that was what you wanted to do, and you had guest sales of over two hundred bucks, you could be getting that for um, one hundred ninety five dollars. So if you don't have an air fryer, it is super cool. Um, Heather, my friend who's here with me, has one, right? Yeah. And she loves it. Wow. So, so and it looks like a fan one for sure i like that <laughs> it's like an easy bake <laughs> oven for big girls <laughs> and boys i remember those Ooh, i want my easy bake oven <laughs> back <laughs> and then so what are these little the, does it come with the skewers and these so little pans with the basket and the rotisserie it so comes that, with a rotisserie a and a basket that's a half price combo wow. so it comes with fruit and leather trays this this um can you all hear? Just wild things. So it yes, comes with a so it has a dehydrate mode. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hi. So that oh, that's I've wonderful for us. Duck jerky. Oh my goodness, she's made fruit leather and duck jerky in that. Wow. Cool. You go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> that and is then, awesome. Yeah, I mean it's an incentive right there, right? If you're looking to get a new mm -hmm. tool. And then I yes. think there's one more flyer like that, JJ. And then we're going to go do about two more giveaways, I think. And then, but we've got lots of giveaways. We've got more, more, more. And we yes. have 20 minutes <laughs> for the party. Now, did everybody get the link? Because I want to talk about um, the new way of ordering with Pampered Chef. Back in the day, oh, right? Yeah. You went to someone's house, you ordered everything on paper, mm -hmm. you wrote a check or you gave your visa number, whatever. And then we send it in mm -hmm. all at one time. 
when you order now, you're going to order through Ginger's party link lot and, and you'll put your own information in. You will be responsible for your shipping address and all of your financials. We don't go in and do that now. It's, it's a true online shopping experience. Mm -hmm. The beauty is that they will start, they will ship it to you immediately. You don't have to wait till the party closes. It's not going to go to Ginger's house where she's going to separate everything and put it into a big plastic bag. It's going to come right to a your door. <laughs> <laughs> so it's That's really a awesome. cool way to do it. Yeah. It and you that can use. Awesome. Oh, okay. JJ, it says that that link went to the Pampered Chef main page. Huh. That's interesting. Let me, I'm going to go check it. Will you go do it? Thank you. Okay. Heather's going to go help JJ make sure it goes straight to your page. And um, Suburban Hillbilly, thank you so much for bringing that up. Yeah. yeah. Because I see the, in the link there, it says not for nothing question redirect shopping landing page. So it should be going to not for nothing. Because I have all this tied right. to right. this. And is okay. that that's what, uh, is it that, or is that the party name? Yeah, oh, not for nothing. It, it should be at not for nothing. Okay. Um, yes, you should see consultant Michelle Carlson, Don Raby. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's going to be, they asked Miss Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a wonderful set as as, right. If you well, if you need some new knives and some really sturdy cutting boards, I yes. I need to get that set because I need some more sturdy cutting boards. I use those flexible cutting mats all yes. the time. And yes, it. you're Saint Germain. Yep, you guys, you are at yes. the right place. Yes. Oh, thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Dawn. I appreciate thank that. You guys, uh, Michelle, can I ask a question too? I yep. saw these wonderful um uh, let me see if i can find them again real quick um they're like the ones that you put between your cast iron pots they're like little pads and i was trying to find them to make sure that those are sold separately i think those things are amazing as well do you know what i'm talking about the little silicone grippers no 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 when you stack your cast iron, you put it between them. It's yes. like a little pad. Let me um, come in here and see if I can find it. Okay. And if somebody finds it immediately and you can tell us uh, what the product number is, you you'll get a gift right away. Immediately. Oh, First person oh, to answer. Wow. And <laughs> stackers for when you stack them in the... Did she show it? No, she's looking. We're all looking for so it. Stackers, what's in the stackers for the cast iron pans? No, we have uh cooker liners. Okay, cookware where are chicken. those? So, in the back, if you go to the back of the book, okay. Are you talking about the cookware liners? Yes, okay. I don't know if they're this silicone or not. They're not, they're fabric, they're, they're fabric. Yeah. Oh, right here. And they are sold, sold, um, set. You can buy a set of those. Yeah, they come in a set of three. They come in a set of three. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's a, that's one of the things I'm, I wanted to make sure and ask in my head. Joey said that we need a new set of knives too, because ours aren't cutting wire very good anymore. If oh Joey my God. wire with oh, my Joey. Knives, I you know, there are some saute tongs, Ginger. You could give the other ones to Joey. Yes, Tony, I am going to put in a link. I don't want to mess this up, but I'm going to go try really hard. Our kitchen oh, okay, JJ's going to put it in chat right now. Oh, yay. <laughs> Joey, don't get yourself in trouble, sir. <laughs> <laughs> You're stepping in deep doo-doo. <laughs> Does everybody see that? You're welcome, Tony. Thank nice you. Yes, yes. So, thank you very much. So that item that Ginger was just asking for is item number, oh, my God, where are my readers? 2888. Uh, <laughs> Deborah Henry. Um, Michelle, the party yes. is going to be open until next Saturday, right? She was asking how correct. long the party is open. Okay, yes. So that is correct. So next Saturday at 
um, okay. Central Standard Time. That's specific. <laughs> Very. Don't go skidding in at the last second. Trust me, I've done it before. <laughs> Dark Lord Minute, come sliding in. That's uh, right. Be <laughs> okay, let's do another giveaway, you guys. Okay, um, okay. This, I'm let's for see. It. this one, I love you guys. I love the seasons best. Um, oh my god! Every yes. quarter, right? They come with um, what is it? Ten recipes? Twenty? Yes. They have oh, some of these recipes are to die for. Just mm -hmm. die for. So. Um, this is actually the spring summer 2022 catalog. So what I want you to do in the chat to win this is to put in hashtag. Oh, we, didn't we didn't. Oh, oh, I missed number three. Uh oh, it's my favorite. I think maybe I was trying to steal it for myself. Oh. <laughs> South Carolina style barbecue rub. Ooh. You guys, this is so good so and what's it's, a, it's a rub a rub it's spine. a rub yep mm -hmm. yep oh it's so yummy and um again you know you put a tablespoon on top of about per pound of meat um i think this would also be really good in like some meatballs as a spice oh, for me yes. it would be so yummy um and it has like a tangy mustardy flavor oh you guys is delish so oh. put in Hashtag SCBBQ. SCBBQ. <laughs> For South Carolina barbecue. That's right, by golly. By golly. I'm going to write this down. Tony has a challenge. Yes. All righty. Now, you said the season's best is the next gift. Is that right? Yeah, now everybody knows what's going to be next. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the uh, spring issue? Yes. And, oh, my gosh, you guys. It just has – there are just so many neat recipes um, that, you know, a lot of them are going to use some of the seasonings that are in here um, uh, that Pampered Chef offers. Mm -hmm. But loaded potato wedges – that's in this one. Can you imagine that on a, oh, after you've been working in the garden all day? I am looking Just, at now, guys, Michelle sent me one as a hostess gift. Um, I, I received one. So if you host a party, you can get one of these too, if you don't win one today. Um, yep. Page 16, pressure cooker chicken tetrazzini. That stuff looks to die for. <laughs> That oh. looks, you know what? I think that that would be a, you have a pressure cooker too. I think you should do that on a video. Ginger. Oh my gosh. This that is so cool. So good. Now I think this is using uh, the pampered chef pressure cooker, but I'm assuming pretty much or not the, the like Instapot. Yeah. The mm -hmm. pampered chef version of Instapot is what this is. Right. And just so you know, if you're looking to get an Instapot and you don't have one, Pampered Chef has something just like it that is yeah. wonderful. And so, yes, that's what it is. It's using uh, the Pampered Chef one, but it looks so good. Oh, my goodness. Fabulous, fabulous. Oh, I see um, also some balsamic caprice chicken. Oh, yum. That's right up my Italian <laughs> So, um, if you actually wanted to book a party for March, that pressure cooker will be one of the 60% off gifts for Stop. a host. What? Just saying. Oh, my goodness. Anything in the book, 60% off in March. Wow. So, something to keep in mind, everybody. Yes. And yeah, I think it does have the yogurt button. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it has sous vide. It has sous vide. So it's got a lot of this. It's, it has all the same things as you do in a, in a more updated um, instant pot, I think. Yes. But it's pampered chef. Except for we have a button that you push here for the steam and the steam comes out of a separate area. Oh, but the, there's a steam button where you don't have to reach over it and get your hand or your wrist all burnt up like I always do with my hands. Oh, my goodness. That's so that's I'm pretty cool. It's got a safety feature. So JJ's going to hit that draw button now. 
Okay, good luck, everybody. Oh, good, luck, good, luck, good luck, good luck. I love this one. <laughs> yes. Deborah, Deborah. woohoo! Congratulations. Yes. So she oh. won the BBQ. So Deborah, please email me your shipping address at bigvalleyliving at gmail.com, please, in the next 48 hours. Yes. Oh you are going to love this so much. I can't wait to hear what you do with it because it is so good. And I like tangy. <laughs> you like tangy? <laughs> I like them spicy. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, so check this out, you guys. Okay, we're just going to go right into the spring, uh, to the spring um, season's best. Sous vide pork. Stop. Uh, really? Good with that. Tenderloin, oh, pork wow. tenderloin with vegetables. Imagine that. So, if that you would like to win this lovely mm. season's best, what you want to do is is um hashtag spring 2022 oh my goodness and remember if you have a party your people will get gifts like this too don't you worry about that yeah <laughs> i love it oh my gosh heck yeah i think i'm getting emails already yeah thanks no, guys yeah, I'm getting your I'm getting your shipping addresses. That's cool. Thank you. Yes. Spring 2022. Spring 2022. If you like this party, if you guys would hit the like button, that would be super awesome. Yes. Okay. Let's see. I, I'm not setting my timer. So I'm going to give it 30 more seconds. Do, do, okay. Do, do, All right. Do, 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 do. Okay, 15. We're down to 15, and we're on a countdown. Good luck, everybody. <clears throat> yes. Oh, Rhonda. Rhonda, go back. Please re-enter it without the space. Hashtag oh, spring zero yeah. two two. All together. All together. That's awesome. Okay, but we're going to extend that time for Rhonda. Oh, she got it. Yay. Okay, cool. Okay, we're going to draw now. Yep. All right. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Good luck, everybody. And I want to thank Heather because Heather brought. Oh, Renee! Nice. <laughs> oh, man. I can't wait to see what, what you make on your channel. Yes. Look. Uh, Don Ray B said, what was the amount to order to get free shipping? Was it 100 or 150? That's 150. And then you also get the other two free gifts. If you do that, the skinny scraper and the donut hole and pan. Donut and hole free pan. I know. I love that donut hole pan. It is so stinking cute. You and know, I have the mini brownie that, pan right? too. Oh, I love my brownie pan. It comes in all the time. So. So you yeah. can, they, the, Pampered Chef actually offers a donut hole mix if you don't have a mix that you already Ooh. use or something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go. And we're making sure it's available right. at the moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that, okay. is, that is super awesome. Do I have any more spices today? Oh, yeah. You know, oh, they, they still have the basil infused gar uh, basil infused olive oil that they used to have when I sold Pampered Chef. That tells you how good their oils and spices are. I no, haven't sold Pampered Chef since my boys were little. Um, so I love it. They've been at least 10, 12 years. Wow. So that will tell you how long it's been. That stuff is good. And if they, sometimes if they take something away, you, I mean, and, and we stomp our feet and everything hard enough, they'll bring it back. There so if there's something that you would like to um, have, you could definitely, um, I just lost my train of thought. I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> you can email Michelle and she's going to bug floor for it. 
and everybody else can bug corporate about bringing back the good stuff. There you go. Is that what okay. you were going for? That's exactly what I was going for. <laughs> and the donut mix is available right now, everybody. So if you want to order it, go for it. Yes. Um, and I'm I might go I might go grab my my uh, brownie pan because you can't you don't just make brownies in it. It has a bunch of little square brownies, right? If you like the edges, it this is your pan. Mm -hmm. But you can also make meatloaf in it and have mm -hmm. little meatloaf for sliders. I yes. yes, yes, yes. Egg it, bites. That is awesome. I think Renee just did an egg bite um, on her channel using that. As a matter of uh, fact, Renee. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so we are now doing winter 2022, and it's oh. another season's best. You guys, we have um, oh chicken gnocchi soup. Oh my god! I love gnocchi. Oh my goodness, I love it. Well, Ginger, you can put your name in there. Oh, taco chili mac. Oh, not doing you that. You guys. <laughs> I want them to win. <laughs> I know. I want them to win too. Uh, Nana, needs to uh, yeah. 20, not 30, 33. Nana, winter 2022, not 30, 33. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and JJ, Joey says you are doing a great job. You are. Thank you. Oh, Thank yes. you, Joey. It's the man behind the curtain. He's got it all going on. <laughs> yes, Don Ray B. It's the mini brownie pan. It yes. is so versatile. And so I have versatile. made those breakfast bites too. You can throw them in your mic and, and throw them in the freezer, bring them out, nuke them up real quick. Oh, yeah. Nana, take away the space. Oh, poor Nana. Oh, Nana. She's like, gosh, you guys can't come on now. She's like, leave me alone. I can't do it. I'm trying. <laughs> you no, know, there's a lot of pressure. Oh, Don Ray B wants to know. Did you already answer Don Ray B? She yeah, said, what? The mini pan. You did? Okay, sorry. No, no worries. <laughs> okay, Nana, are you in? Come on, we're waiting. We're going to wait for Nana. Come on, Nana. Winter 2020, on, Nana. 2022, no space. All together, smash it up like I do all my words. Whoa. That's water <laughs> and salt. Got married. They had a kid. Um, and his name was Walt, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> there we go. Okay. All right. Oh, Nana. my God. Stop. The goes off. Okay. JJ's going to do. Oh, there he goes. Bam. <laughs> he got nothing on me. All right. Rhonda Towery. Yay. Way nice. to go, Rhonda. Awesome. Okay. When he takes that down, can I show another favorite of mine? Oh, <laughs> and JJ said just like that. Boop. This cooling rack. You're muted. <laughs> They're amazing. Yes. I love them. And not only, ladies and gentlemen, do they, are they elevated? Are they nice? They have this coating on them, so nothing sticks to it. But you can double, triple, quad. You can stack these on top of each other. Yep. See that little hole right there? That little foot right there goes into that when you set it on the next one and the next one. I used to do all my Christmas cookies, and I didn't have racks all over my countertop. They were all stacked right in one spot so nobody could tip them over and nobody could get their little fingers in them. <laughs> <laughs> These things are awesome. And they're dishwasher safe. Yes. I they're love those. <laughs> I think I have like four. It's another one. I have like four of them. I love yeah. them. Oh my God. I, I do too. And that's why I knew they stacked so well. Um, best ones I've ever found. And the thing I like about them the best is because they have that coating on them. And when something is cooling on them, it doesn't stick to it. So right. that's my favorite thing. Okay. I'll hush now. <laughs> Ginger has been hiding all these fancy things from me. <laughs> I didn't know you were a consultant. Michelle doesn't like put it out there. Not to us, I guess. We're just, but I noticed in all your videos, you got like lots of, 
I was like, oh, she's paying for Jeff Lover too. Uh -oh. oh yeah. And okay, we're Tony, doing the racks, else, right? are the racks available? Yeah, it looks like yeah. we are. It looks like we're giving away <laughs> the one hey. for 2018. Oh yeah, because I did say something about one hour, and we've got several gifts to go. So okay. this one is the season's best 2018 winter edition. Oh my goodness, I'm just browsing here. Quick cooker cheddar broccoli risotto with chicken. Oh, nice. Oh, and I've got it on good measure here that it's a really good recipe. Oh, that um, sounds good. Quick cooker red lentil and spinach soup. So there's another recipe for the quick cooker, that pressure cooker. I love a lentil recipe. I love a good lentil recipe. Lentils are high in iron. They are very good for you if... Um, if you need that iron in your diet, which I do. So uh -huh. lentils are always an unsung hero. Uh, so people, a lentil soup is good for you. And they're <laughs> yummy too. They it's always are. nice to have good food that's yummy. I have done the copycat version of uh, Caraba's uh, Italian sausage and lentil soup. Uh huh. And I, I got that stuff down pat. My Joey's dad asks for it all the time. Can you get Ginger to make some of that soup? If I get her the sausages, will she make that soup for us? And they only That's want a awesome. little bit, so then we get to keep a whole bunch of it. So it's always a win-win. <laughs> that is super cool. Tony, yeah. we are directing, we are checking right now on the availability of the um, of the cooling racks. It, says, it doesn't say they're out of stock, so. It doesn't say they're out of stock. So that means this is one of those things that Pampered Chef, I believe, is just going to carry forever and ever and ever, right? They should. If they get yeah. rid of it, I'm going to stomp my feet. <laughs> yeah, and they last forever. They really, really do. <laughs> what did um, Joe I, say about me? <laughs> I want to bring this up. Sloppy Joe skillet with polenta. You could call it Sloppy Joey, and I think you could probably use Joey in a jar. I'm just, you know. There you go. There you throwing go. Throwing out some suggestions. Yeah. I don't know what he said about me earlier in the chat, but he apparently said something because I see that Tony said, I don't think Ginger realizes Joey said that about her. And I don't know what he oh. said. But we'll it was about you hiding that. all of the goodies. It, it was about you hiding all the fancy gadgets that oh, you have. Yes. <laughs> I do. <laughs> okay. From him. JJ, <laughs> let's go ahead. Here we go. Here we go. I'm excited. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Yes. 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 Cindy. Yes. 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 Cindy. She is a. She is on it. That is so awesome. Cindy, if you send me your email address or your shipping address one time, I'll consider it good for both. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Yes, congratulations. Very good. That is awesome. I'm happy that you're off the grid. I think that's pretty darn cool. Yes, um, it is. Let's see. We're going to do another. Da, 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 da. Do you have, does anybody in the chat have any questions? Because I've been kind of like <laughs> Joey. Joey's on the back of the property, so Ginger can't find him. <laughs> He's hiding from me. So I don't have a mission That is an odd joke. Please tell your uh, director that that is an ongoing joke. We're we're just kidding. I will explain to her. I did I did tell her about the deer that you got. Yeah. Okay. And I did tell her about Joey in the jar yesterday. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's funny. And can I say my family would love to live where she's living? I will her family would love to live where you're living, Ginger. She's gonna live vicariously oh, through you. you. I, I'm telling Don't you. Tonight, you can go out and shoot for dinner. Very happy yeah. where I am. <laughs> and so is and Joey. We are both very happy. Here. Well, a great state. Heather's going to be um, subscribing to your channel, I think, so she can live vicariously through you. Oh, okay. Thank you, Heather. <laughs> Hashtag spring 2017. Hashtag spring 2017. No spaces, please. No spaces. Yes. And I'll this tell you this one. This is one of my favorites. It has. Uh -huh. um, Sandwich recipes for hoagies, peaches and cream dessert nachos, you guys. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, mm. oh yeah. That sounds uh, Grilled cheese dessert, baked avocado hot do uh, tacos. You, this is a good one. We've made oh. several recipes from it. Goodness. 
Hashtag awesome. Spring 2017. And that's the great thing about those. They usually have a little bit of everything, like a couple of entrees, bunch of main courses and a couple of desserts. So you get a nice, well-rounded, but a smaller cookbook. And it's absolutely. Yeah. They're, they're pretty awesome. I like those. I always like those. Oh, here's, <laughs> here's a picture of that mini brownie pan, Rhonda. Yes. <laughs> right there. So here's a recipe for that in there. I just love that little guy. Maybe I'll make my meatloaves in a video. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh look. Cause that's what I'm See, thinking is if we do these, well, I was thinking if we do these parties, I can just make it generic and they can pick, you can pick your own recipe that you want me to make and I'll make it. Yeah. Oh, that's a so great idea. Not. That okay. is a great idea. Okay. Ready? Ready for the draw? Yes. Okay. One, two, three, draw. Go. Here we go. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Ready? Good luck, everybody. <laughs> Suburban now, Billy. Suburban Hill Billy, good job. All right, she gets a season's best spring 2017. Such a good season's best. They're yes. all good. I always say that when anyone good. comes out. <laughs> they are. Now, also in the where the little brownie pan is, they have. Uh, a brownie mix. If you want to try Pampered Chef's brownie mix, they sell a brownie mix and they sell a chocolate chip cookie mix too. And so you got those two things as well. Cookies are gluten free. And the chocolate chip cookies are gluten free. Oh wow! Bonus. And on the brownie mix too to see if it's gluten free. Okay. That's awesome. Yes, that is amazing because I'm on that page right now. I was just looking. It has that and it has that little donut. Oh, yeah. the donut pan, not the donut hole, but the donut pan. So yeah, the brownies, the brownies are gluten free. The brownies are gluten free and vegan. And vegan. Well, I'm sorry. That's awesome. And soy GMO. Do they taste like chocolate? I haven't made them yet. But okay, the we haven't made cookies, them yet. The chocolate chip cookies are really good. <laughs> chocolate chip cookies are super good. Are dairy free? Oh no, Tony! Tony, <laughs> you're getting all kinds of stuff. Oh man, okay, thank you. <laughs> we have regifted Suburban Hillbilly has regifted the um spring 2017 to Tony, who once again is gonna have to put that into a video. Man, yeah. Tony, you're all kinds of material here, buddy. Yes, exactly, and all kinds of goodies. That and now so we're sweet. doing spring 2020 because JJ's doing a housekeeping job for me. He's going to keep this moving. Uh, yeah, he is, isn't he? You go. You keep yeah. us on track there. Ooh. We'll keep chattering and you keep going. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. Listen to us and watch him. That's yes, awesome. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, now, uh, yeah, go ahead. The little, I have it inside. I forgot to bring it out. The tortilla warmer. That keeps your tortillas warm. I love it. I love it. I use it all the time. It's amazing. Yes. If you talk, I know exactly where it is. Two seconds and I'll get it. Mine's hanging. Go for it. Mine's hanging okay. up right right there by the sink. Because I use it all the time. If you, pre if you guys have frozen pancakes or frozen burritos, you can pop that in there as well. I just get a big old tortilla and fold it into quarters and throw it in for 20, 30 seconds. And then, like if you have a um, couple day old, like French bread. You can talk loud. If you have a couple days old of French bread, you can throw that in there too. And it steams it, makes it all soft and moist again. Oh, yum. Yeah. I hope you all better. heard that. Yeah, it's really good. So it's but it's not just for tortilla, warm, uh, tortilla warming. Oh. And that's all I've done with mine. <laughs> no, like, yeah, you, okay. Just, okay, here you go. Oh, I love that. It's a little puffy pocket. It's all nice and puffy in there, and you can it really keeps tortillas nice and warm. I don't know if you can it's hear it. It's machine right. washable. Yes. It's not a don't zipper. Use, don't use your fabric softener. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. You don't want your tortillas to smell like downy. <laughs> <laughs> but they are amazing. So cute. I love them. Oh, you need to use it, Angela. You need to use that. Use um, she hasn't used it yet. I oh, love that wow. warmer. 
you can put biscuits in it too. I put my biscuits in there before, and I, not a lot of them, but I, you could because you could put a stack of tortillas in there, but just a couple of probably five biscuits or six. They are wonderful. Yeah, that's a good much. idea. Yeah, I'm gonna have JJ hit the drawing button now. Okay, nice. Yay, good luck, everybody. Yes, good luck, good luck, good luck. And here we go, here we go. Jamie's country. Winning. Congratulations. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> that is yes. Nice. Okay. Very good. Okay. We have two <laughs> more things. We have two more things. I've got a lot of things, but we're gonna do two more, okay? Okay. And I do also want to say that if anybody's interested in um, in being a consultant, that you could feel free to reach out to me because there are, you know, you used to have to come up with quite a bit of money for, it was an investment to become a consultant. Mm -hmm. Now there yes. are four different ways to do it. If you have a party that hits $200, you can um, apply $25 credit towards your, your kit. And um, if you get, I think it's 400 or more, you get $50 towards your kit. Oh, wow. There are kits starting at $50. You can get, um, it's a pizza stone and a, a spatula. I know people who make a good living at Pampered Chef by simply making the same pizza at every party or maybe switching mm -hmm. it up. So yes. it doesn't cost a ton of money to get started. But when you get going, you're really able to like start earning really super cool things. Yes. And it, they stick up on you. I've I, Every pan that I have, I have earned as, yeah. uh, as an incentive, if you will. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it, it just, it's very fun. And we're, yeah. Ginger and I are like, we're having fun with this. And yes, having absolutely. Have a bunch of how to's and like yeah. a menu. If you want to have a party, we'll give you a menu or what have yeah. you. This is just going to be fun. Yeah. Yes, okay, so it is so much fun. Number nine, gift number nine. This one yes, looks the so bourbon cool. hillbilly. She said she remembers those parties. They always made the taco ring and it was delicious. Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes those are so yummy. <laughs> oh my God. We're gonna have to have a pampered chef collab. Everybody yes. watch for oh, that. That would be a good one. Interested. Yes. Yeah. If you're interested, send me a message at um, uh, biggallyliving at gmail.com. I think that would be a really, really fun collaboration. And we could bring back I all of our so old too. favorites. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, now Absolutely. this one, this is a classic book. This one is from 2007. Oh, wow. And it is 29 Minutes to Dinner. Oh, quick meals. Oh, that's a big spiral bound book. And it's, oh, yeah, book. spiral oh, bound. Wow. And, oh, you guys, glazed chicken with apple salad, almond chicken stir fry. I'm just, oh, shrimp panzanella salad. This book has got recipes that are worth visiting. Definitely worth visiting. Yeah. And Don Lee, thank you. Yes, on that collab. <laughs> Does Tony, that make you're in to make a recipe for it, Don Raby? Hmm. I love it. I'm thinking, yes. I'm thinking Ooh. you could do that. <laughs> well, look, I think we should do this and I think we should do this in March or April. Tell me when you want and we'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. 29 yeah. minutes. I, I think it's Man, so good. you guys, this just has really awesome recipes in it. And they're using and a, a lot of the. I didn't hear you, Ginger. It's so funny. Dawn, I said, if we do a Pampered Chef collab because you're so excited about it, that means you will do a video and be in the collab. Yes. <laughs> Don't say you went out to check on your chickens because I know you're here. <laughs> We've, we have a vote for April and I like that yeah. idea because that will give me time to plan. <laughs> that sounds fantastic, Michelle. I am so in. I'm so All right. in. Yes. <laughs> so if you're in this chat, send me a message if you're interested. Okay, send me an email and we'll put it together. 
Uh, do it in late April after tax returns. Yes, oh, just a suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> well, what we'll do is we'll have a, we'll have like a May 1st, um, you know, giveaway at the end. Okay. Cause I'm going to see if we can't get pampered chef to give away one of the new spring or summer, big new things that we're coming up with here. Nice. Dawn Don said, yes, um, it would be her first. If day. not, I will do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find out. I'll knock on every door. That's okay. Awesome. Did you Ooh. think that? Dawn said yes, she would do it, and this would be her first collab. Oh, Dawn, Dawn, yes. I, know. And That's I awesome. will send the details out, you guys. I have to make notes. <laughs> details <laughs> to Angela. Yes. Renee, I'll send yeah, it out to the chat, okay? Yes. That sounds good. I think spread the word. Spread the word, spread the word. You know, <laughs> we know Mennonite, uh, uh, Mennonite Farmhouse, man. She's got her Pampered Chef out every day. Jenny yeah. Goff always has her Pampered Chef out. So we're going to start yeah. putting the word there. Okay, yes. ready? Ready for this drawing, JJ? <laughs> Rhonda. Yes, you got, I know you got this, girl. You're playing around behind the scenes. Rhonda, no, I know. You're a good girl. cook. We know it. Darn, baby! Yay! She said she just filled the chicken bucket too. I bet you that was her good luck. Her, her chickens are good luck. <laughs> so Dawn, this is going to be your, this will be your get going right here. <laughs> She's All right. So don't forget to send me your uh, shipping address at uh, big Valley living at gmail.com. Yes. Okay. This is the last thing today. This is the last okay. thing today. Okay, now I'm gonna take it out, but I promise you, this is kind of cool. This okay. and it's plastic, so I'm not touching your stuff. Okay. This is a veggie strip maker. Oops. It's oh. super weight, and I use this for like zucchini in the summertime. It, it makes perfect shreds and everything. It's oh, light. Nice. And you can put it in the dishwasher. I've got one in my trailer and one in the house because I'm too lazy to walk 50 feet to get it out all the time. Oh, stop. <laughs> it requires a lot of space in your kitchen. And, That's uh, awesome. I love this. Okay, now I can't get it back in the box. Okay. It's okay. They never go back in the way they came out. Trust me, I know. Getting something back in the box never works out very well. <laughs> exactly. All right. So this one is going to be hashtag veggie strips. Hashtag V-E-G-G-I-E-T-R-I-P-S. Yes. Nice. Zucchini and carrots, Renee. Exactly. Yes. Angela I just says, love that thing is a must have. I had I had to on hand in case they in case one broke. Oh, sorry. I'm not reading well today. <laughs> That's it's, awesome. These things are great, you guys. I've got a lot of little things like this. At every party, I'll have one of my favorite tools that I'm going to hand out. Yeah. So that's one oh. of them. And Those yes, awesome. it is safer than a mandolin, Rhonda. Much safer. Yeah. So if that makes you nervous, this is your tool right there. <laughs> mm, that is awesome. Well, while okay. we're having them do that in chat, I want to thank you, Michelle. I know you've put a lot of hard work into this and you. it's, you've done very good. It's It's been an awesome party. I've had so much fun. It's fun. It's yes. so different. And For what good food too. Yes, yes. So, yes. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I think what I'm going to do next time is we'll have dessert. We'll sit here and eat dessert when we do it. But yes. man, I want to make one of those taco rings for dinner. I haven't made one of those for so long. Yeah. Oh, thank and you, so Dawn. On my, and, uh, and Suburban Hillbilly. Thank you, guys. We're so glad that yes. you guys came along. Yes. I have a video on my, in my playlist, my cooking playlist. It says leftover turkey with a question mark. That is a pampered chef recipe using your leftover turkey from Thanksgiving, uh, dried cranberries, uh, walnuts, a little bit of mayonnaise, Dijon mustard, a couple other things, and crescent rolls. You know, they all started with a crescent roll. <laughs> I know. Well, you know, those were the best. That is it. the best way to season your um, all of your 
uh, stoneware, in yes. my opinion. Yes. If it has if it has a lip on it, throw some bacon in there at 400 degrees to get it all nice and seasoned. Yes. And then if you have like a pizza stone that doesn't have sides on it, um, we've used um, crescent rolls. We just lay them out to make like a pizza or mm -hmm. the biscuits, just anything with a nice oil content that'll season yep. it. Yep. Yeah, that's what they always told us. Brownies, chicken nuggets, um, anything that has oil to it will help season it. So mm -hmm. you'll get it yeah. to where it's you can nothing will stick to it <laughs> i know well you know what i still prefer that for cookies over a still pat any day yeah. any yeah. day yep i make everything on mine and you never have to wash them you just have to rinse them off with nice hot water in fact you don't want to use soap on them and they are fabulous oh, the scrapers. scrapers they all come with a scraper still right they do. They do. I probably, yep. I've and now the scrapers are blue. Another. Hold on a second. Ginger, talk for a minute and I'll be right back. Okay. I'm show I will this. because we're going to talk about something else that Joey likes to take out of the kitchen. That would be the brown pampered chef scrapers. How many times have I found them in his toolbox? Because he uses them to scrape things at work. So I've had to hide those as well or else I have nothing to scrape my pans with. <laughs> I actually had to order a few extra. Those things are amazing. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Joey, I like how you said that. Keep her busy. I'm going to try to take more things. Stay out <laughs> of my kitchen drawers and my gadget drawer, Joey. <laughs> He's a mess, JJ. He is a mess. <laughs> I started with one pampered chef drawer. Now uh, I have two pampered <laughs> chef drawers and all the other stuff just gets tossed. Yeah. Um, there you go. <laughs> so this is the new scraper. Look Ooh. at this. Joey would really like that bad boy, huh? Stop. Don't encourage him, Michelle. <laughs> oh. But this is, this is my old beat up, one of my old yeah. beat up brown ones. I and that. I use it around the sink and the stove. And so I, now that they have a, now that we have a new color, I know that the brown ones are for cleaning and it makes my life so much easier. Yeah. There you go. I didn't know. They had one. Ooh, yes. I love that. I love it. Is, it. it is wonderful. It is truly you wonderful. You know what, Michelle? That's ingenious because no matter how many times you let the brownies cool all the way down, Put oil on your knife. When you're cutting, you're dragging and tearing your brownies. I don't care what you do. It's going to happen if you're making good brownies. That pan is a game changer. It is ingenious because oh, yeah. everybody gets their own little one. It's all nice and neat and no brownies are ripped to shreds and look like molten lava cakes <laughs> and everybody gets, oh I, you know what you guys oh we're gonna do a lava cake we're gonna there is the best lava cake recipe i love making that for parties oh, oh. Really? oh, oh yeah I'm so easy and i see that joey has offered to have their your own little ginger's kitchen giveaway <laughs> <laughs> yeah you see what Rhonda said underneath that right joey you better yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. He's still he's hiding. He's still yeah, hiding. He's still hiding. He'll You're still gonna have to come in sometime, child. Joey. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> you gotta come back sometime. <laughs> are you guys ready for? Are you ready for the last drawing here? Yes. Okay, yes, ready. Yes. Okay, ready. Good luck. Yes. Good luck, everybody. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? <laughs> Cindy's world. Nice. Very good. Wow, she is a winner again. She won big on my giveaway. Very that is good. awesome. That is awesome. That thing is looks like it's amazing. I don't have one of those, Michelle. I'm gonna have to put that on my wish list. Because I do not have one of those. Really, they're so awesome. They really are. I just yeah. it's super handy. And I, mine goes in the house on the side of the drawer because it'll lay yeah. flat right there. And it's yeah. just right there. I have like a, a cutting drawer and a whisk drawer. And 
<laughs> she said, oh, they. And I can never move. I can never move. I, no, I don't need intervention. I need more pampered chef in my life. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, it's a happy yeah. life when you've got pampered chef in it. That's why. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> so we can just put this up. Now, this is what you can look forward to in March. Ginger, notice the saute tongs on the I right. I see those. I like those. <laughs> So I think Joey needs to buy his own. <laughs> I think you're right. Now I want everybody to notice that next month when you get free gifts, you have, you'll be spending $90, not 80. So if you want to have a party, that might be a good way to get some of these gifts as well. But um, it'll be $90 and you can get the pasta tongs, everything, but the pizza seasoning and the saute tongs. And then also the free shipping if you spend 150. So that's a pretty cool deal, guys. There you go. And just think about it, guys. Uh, next month is actually only like a week and a half away. It's not that exactly. far around. So if you want, and if you want a party party, now, let me know. <laughs> yes, that sounds good because I want in on that March offer. I like that because I'm probably going to need that second set of talks. <laughs> it's going to find my heart. My hiding place for my saute tongs, I'm probably going to need that. <laughs> oh, see, he probably wants the metal tip from the other one. So you might get safe on this one because those have yes. a silicone at the end. There you go. <laughs> Cindy, there you go. I agree. Cindy needs to go buy a lottery ticket today for sure. <laughs> yeah, does. She is a winner, winner, chicken dinner. This is this has been so much fun, Michelle. I have had Thank such you. a blast and I love just oohing and on over Pampered Chef stuff and getting to see all of their new things. Uh, yeah. They come out with some really amazing, I mean, this thing is groundbreaking. This changed my life with yeah. hamburger meat. These things, again. Those are so cool. <laughs> these things are groundbreaking. These, This is awesome. I love that they came out with these. They're yeah, amazing. that is super cool because you're always losing one half of whatever you have of, of a yeah. set in your drawer anyway. Yes. And yeah, I made a magnetic just for people like me that lose stuff. <laughs> <laughs> me too. And what? Oh, uh, yeah, or Joey takes it from you. And yes, Joey, you and JJ yes. will need to talk about my gadgets because they are many. I know, I know hear about it. I know better. Yeah, see, he knows. <laughs> Don't touch my pen. No, I Joey used to know that too. I, I don't know yeah. what's happened to him. He's well, he's gone astray. The... He's cares. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I'll, JJ uses my pans all the time to heat up lunch, so he gets mm -hmm. to benefit from it every day. So yes. Um, Here let's see, so Don. You can't find the veggie strip cutter in the catalog. Let's see. I'm Is sure. Okay? No way. Oh. My. Uh -oh. Okay, Cindy, what? you're getting something that is not going to be available anymore. So what? you got yourself a classic prize. But it could show up on the outlet. So I'll but it might show up in the outlet. the outlet. Okay, so there's an outlet tab on the page. You can go look in the outlet. It's not something that a party uh, host gets credit for, right? Yeah. It's, they do? Yeah, oh, okay. Go the check out the out outlet. <laughs> Oh, shame on me. Yeah. Not know that. <laughs> hey, you're you learn something new every day. Things change. I am. Fall. I am. It <laughs> and it does change all the time, you guys. So if you yeah. see something that you like or you're interested in, sometimes don't uh, don't delay. Right. <laughs> yes. Yes. Does that have an item number on the box that the, would the item number if it goes into the outlet, would it still have the same item number? Yes, yes. it would. And that number is one one four five one one four five okay because i like that as well okay look at that oh i might know somebody who might have a few extras so just let me know can't find them they're not in the outlet right now they either. They so rotate stuff. So it just but depends on where it goes. things will rotate as they clean off the various shelves, I guess, in the warehouse, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. 
Well, that's awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for checking on it and, you know, getting all that info. You bet. Yeah, yeah. And, and there are people that are I just want to tell you. Michelle. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I said, if there's somebody that wants one, uh, send Michelle an, in, uh, an email. She might know a guy who might be able to get one. <laughs> who knows? <laughs> 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 yes thank you all so much for coming in and we are yes, going to be broadcasting you. this and if you're interested in a party let me know um support yes. ginger because she needs more gadgets goodness I do, no I do. Needs more gadgets so he's taking them all to the shed <laughs> <laughs> new ones they don't have grease on them <laughs> <laughs> thank you all very much and we'll see you later we'll see you at the next thank party and okay. watch for April collab. Yay. Yes. Yes. Paper check yeah. collab. Go. Okay. All right. Take care. Thank Bye. you, Michelle. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome, he says. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye.